Welcome back. You're watching the morning news here at CNN News 18. We have some breaking news coming in to us right now from Uttar Pradesh. You might remember that there was much controversy after the Uttar Pradesh government asked for the madrasas across the state to get surveyed. Uh, there was much political opposition. Now we're learning that the UP government is gearing up for a survey of wakf properties across the state. The Yogi government is saying that they plan to take back the government or public property that's gone to the wakf over the years. The government has striked down an order that was initially issued by the state. Now just for your information, before we carry on, there are about 1.6 lakh wakf properties across Uttar Pradesh. Take a quick look at the reaction we've gotten to this, then we'll connect with the reporter for more. अभी तक तो आप ये कहा जा रहा है छोटी एनआरसी लेकिन अब आप तैयारी में हैं बड़ी एनआरसी की सच्चाई ये है कि आप सिर्फ और सिर्फ मुसलमानों को परेशान कर रहे हैं मुसलमानों की प्रॉपर्टीज की जांच वफ की जांच मदरसों की जांच एक तरफा कार्रवाई मैं मुख्यमंत्री जी से पूछ रहा हूं कि बहुत बड़े बड़े धर्मशालाओं के ट्रस्ट हैं मंदिरों के ट्रस्ट हैं इनकी जांच क्यों नहीं हो रही है My colleague, our Uttar Pradesh Bureau Chief Pranshu Mishra is with us this morning to give us a lot more context on this story. Pranshu, it seems like for weeks you and me were discussing the strong political reaction that had come in after the UP government's announcement about madrasas. Doesn't an initiative like this only further the opposition's claims that the Muslim community is being targeted in the state? Tell us more. Well, yes, uh, you know, this particular decision will also see a lot of opposition coming in uh, from, you know, the, the Muslim community itself as well as the opposition. But the government's logic to is that, you know, we are not doing anything illegal. Before 1989, there was no provision that the government properties, uh, you know, which were being used by the uh, by the Eidgahs, Kabristan or, you know, the mosque or the Madarsa, that is the Muslim, uh, you know, outfits or the Muslim establishments, they were converted. Uh, to the work property by an act of uh, state government in way back in 1989. Now, the, what the government says is that over the past uh, almost more than three decades, there have been cases of several large-scale corruption, how the work properties have been taken over, uh, you know, illegal possession has been done, how manipulation has been done to give away or attach priceless uh, government property or the public property to the various work, work boards. That's the reason why the government in step one repealed this 1989 act so no longer that 1989 act under which the government properties or the public properties were attached to the work boards no longer exists and after that what the government has done is it has asked all the district magistrates uh, to go ahead with a survey identify such properties which are basically the public properties might be on you know, the gram sabha land or the municipal corporation land or in just the public or the government land which is now been taken over by the work board now, estimate, as you rightly said, that, you know, UP has the highest number of work properties, more than 1.5 lakhs belonging to both the Sunni work board as well as the Shia work board. The state has two work boards. Many of these properties are the private properties which have been given by the Muslim families and individuals to the work board. But a strong section of them is also the government property or the public property. Now, what government wants to do is it is not touching the private property uh, properties. It is trying to identify the public property, and that too is creating a lot of uh, uproar. We have already heard what uh, the AIMIM spokesperson has to say, calling it a bigger NRC as compared to the Madrasa survey. So I think this is an issue which will see, uh, you know, a lot of uh, statements and controversies in days ahead. It's just now that the government has decided, uh, you know, uh, to implement uh, this this sort of decision. One month's time has been given to all the district magistrates to file such a compliance report. Okay. And Pranjshu, I just want to understand from you, you've highlighted for us that it's possible that this is going to lead to a reignition of what the opposition has had to say. That's what I want to understand from you. You've just walked us through the technicalities right now of what the UP government is planning and what the justification for it is. But how has the UP government responded to claims from the opposition that they aren't targeting some other communities and other communities' properties in the same way? Well, uh, you know, uh, as I said to you, see, this is a decision that has just been unfolded. So we'll have to wait for more reactions to come out. But the pattern which we have seen is that, you know, main players like the Congress or the Samajwadi Party or the left, they actually don't speak on such issues. So on Mother's side, if you talk about uh, who apart from AIM or the, you know, BSP chief Mayawati, have you seen any reaction coming in from Ahmadmi Party, SP or Congress? No reaction at all. So I'm very sure that opposition again, the main opposition again, 
as a strategy is not going to be very commental on uh, you know on this issue sure. but we we'll clearly see the actions coming in from likes of aimim uh, uh, one of the leaders has already spoken don't be surprised that you know if in times to come or days to come we also see reaction coming in from asawuddin uwaisi but government again clarifying that this survey is only to determine the public property the government property that's a, that has gone into the work board or which is with the work boards it is not about touching the private property okay all right pranshu thank you so much for bringing us uh, clarity on that story for our audiences we're going to move on right now more breaking news coming in